Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing about configuration of email bot in Pega. So let's get started. I have used Gmail service provider. So just go to your Gmail, click on manage your Google account. And here under security, you can see app passwords. Click on this app password and provide your Gmail password here and once you are here see I have created one app password so you can go here select app you can give some other custom name suppose pega channel I have given and then if you click on generate you will be provided with this password note down this password so this password is useful for us to set up an email account with pega so in Pega, when you create an email account, you have to use this password, but not your regular Gmail account password. Now switch back to Dev Studio and then you have to go to Records Explorer and Integration Resources. And you can see here email account. Click on this email account and you click on this create. So a new email account you need to configure. I have created this Gmart Notify. In this I have provided Gmail as my email provider. Once I have selected this, this SMTP host and port number will be auto populated. And here I have used sending as SMTP. And I have given my email address. And uh, my password is nothing but Gmail app password that I got. Then if you scroll down, in receiver you have to select IMAP and you can check this checkbox use sender's id and password so it would be using these two credentials and once you are done with this configuration you update history tab and save it so that an email account will be created uh, whether it is working fine or not you can test it by using this test connectivity you can see here status is good and it is connected to email server successfully click submit next you go to records explorer again and in integration resources you can see email listener we have to create an email listener so i have created this zmart email why this email listener is useful is so when some user is sending some email to learn with krishna at gmail.com it should read that email and then it should process whether they can find some registration keyword in that uh, email and it should create some case that is the agenda of this particular email bot video so it listens to the folder in that email so here we have to specify the folder name as well so i have given this to run on all the nodes and this is the email account that we have created and in this listener properties, there is a service package rule. This service package rule, we have to create it. OOTB class this is. And in this class, we have this service method. Just if you give down arrow, you can give this. So you have to create this service method in your integration layer. In this, uh, this is the class name. And this is the OOTB activity to create and manage this service activity. This channel ID is nothing but the auto populated value that we got over here. So that we got over here, this service method. These are the two parameters that we pass. One is channel ID and this is channel class. This is again an OTB class. We don't need to create any new classes for this. And this is request. This is the request mapping to CC from sender name subject in reply to and references. And these are uh, other options. And this is the email body. And now I am handling as an HTML attachment. And this is response type. Suppose uh, when uh, this particular message type is HTML, I would be seeing this uh, SVC output status is successful. If it is success, then I would be adding some uh, subject. And this uh, acknowledgement email. So we would be uh, sending an acknowledgement like, thanks for your email. This is our case ID. So for that, I am mapping this response. If there is some, if the message type is not a HTML, 
I'm not doing anything, but you can configure some values over here to state that uh, we need to get uh, accurate details. Once the service package is created, you go back to listener and uh, you specify the service method and this is our service package and this is our folder name inbox. So if you have suppose in your email account, you have dedicatedly given uh, some folder name you have to specify that name otherwise it, it won't listen to that respect to uh, folder and these are uh, other options you can go and verify it this is process so you can specify some read criteria over here and this is the history tab once you are done with uh, creation of email account and email listener you restart your server so that in a, uh, if you go back to admin studio under resources you can see listeners over here click on this in this you can see there are two listeners until you restart your server you can't see your listener over here so if you open this this is your listener that you have created so this is the second uh, step you have to do after creation of your email and configuring your app password now switch back to app studio in app studio you can see channels over here click on these channels you can see a channel interface over here if you click email you would be able to configure a new channel for your particular application so in this uh, email interface you have configuration behavior and training data so in your configuration you have to specify the email channel name that you want to give this description and here you can see your add email account if you click this you can see your zmart that we have created and once you selected this email you click on verify whether there are any connectivity issues or not it would uh, specify over here see there are no issues if there are some issues it would be showing some errors over here and uh, if you have more than two email accounts you can select those and these are additional settings like uh, if you want to display uh, case id in the subject you can give this and this is the language this is outbound email template and you can see which uh, template you want whether it's cobalt clear or classic and this is behavior so you, if you want to suggest a case like uh, this particular user uh, wants registration so i want suggesting some registration case i can select the case type over here just if i click add you can see the case types that are present in our system and this is text analysis and this is entity extraction and this text analysis there are three criteria one is approximate match must match never match so here i have given approximate as consider must match is registration so in my email subject if i see some word with registration i should be uh, considering this and i should be creating a case for this particular request from my inbox and I should suggest uh, registration is the suggested case type never match I can give like cancel whatever words you want to exclude you have to select this this is entity extraction this is like suppose user has given like this is my first name and this is the last name and you want to map those details to your register case model you can specify that ad mapping and you can uh, specify which entity you are looking for whether it's from subject okay in subject what is the label or description otherwise if you want to see from other entities like person organization or event you can select this for now i'm not dealing with this in this video so once you configure uh, your behavior there is another type called training data so if you want to record as many as emails and how your particular email bot is working then you have to select this record training data option then only this particular tab will be enabled let say this is a zmart email that i have configured and this register case and uh, this is intelligent routing so here when uh, i found like some email has come with registration then i wanted to route it to zmart admin operator when uh, see subject is equal to registration uh, otherwise uh, i want it routed to uh, zmart admin or you can select your operator that you want to 
about it. You can see here text analytics repository points to a temporary directory. So you have to change the repository in Prediction Studio. So you go back to Prediction Studio. In this, you click New and you can create your new prediction. Here I have created a new prediction called as Zima Tmail. Once I have created this, I am associating with uh, the case like action. What is the action I have to create? This action register. This is the topic. You can see here create topic. And if you go to models, uh, you can see here topic Zima Tmail. And if you go to training data, you can uh, list out your training data over here. And this is analysis like how many predictions I got and uh, how it has been working this particular prediction this is setting you can see this is related to a subject email and it is, is associated with this channel Zima email we are looking for English language if you want to predict for some other languages you can go with your region specific language and this is sentimental level that is there and here I am looking for uh, topic like for on the body for all these entities and if you see here under actual register there is a settings icon over here once you click you can see keywords tab these are the keywords that we have given while creation of uh, email bot in app studio see should words must words and not words and and words also you can specify once you save this, you save this particular prediction and click on build. When you click on build, it would take some time. Then uh, it would be showing like some build is in progress. Give some two minutes of time, then go for actions and refresh. You can see this uh, prediction is built. Okay, now you again, you can go to App Studio. If you want to test it, you can click on the test. Now I have logged in as Zima app admin and in my app admin I can see there are 8 cases assigned to me so I want to test my email chatbot for that uh, I have logged in with my gmail I have logged in with my gmail and I have composed an email like uh, consider for user registration I want to enroll this and I am sending it uh, to learnwithkrishna at gmail.com so I can see here right et1001 is the new case this is email triage now I am opening this work object and I can see the email that we have sent. I want to enroll in Zima tab and this is the email content that we got. So this is the analysis like this case can be of a register case. So if I want to resolve I can do it otherwise if I want to transfer I can do it. And this is the action tab. I have uh, some options to print it or I can send some notifications for this. And this is details tab, pulse and create case. If I want to add some text over here, I can add this in the post. And if you click this view analysis, you can see all the entities, organization and topics. See it was uh, looking for a topic register and the confidence is 100%. Why? Because we have used word called as registration. And this is email header info from whom we got our email and all. and switch back see here once i have sent an email i got a response also like thank you for email request your request id is et1001 this is reference to this this et1001 is nothing but the case id that is created in pega i can click on resolve this is resolve completed and if i want to check uh, the next email i can click on this this is about a sample email bot. If we can play around the configuration of the email bot, we can achieve many scenarios as well. You please try in your personal edition or in your application and comment your feedback on this. Thank you. Happy learning. Please watch, subscribe and share to your colleagues.